What's good, everybody? It's your boy, KD. Better yet, Kumano the Don here. Um, I'm just out here grinding, really, is what I'm doing. Um, got on, I've been, I've been on for probably about, I don't know, maybe 45 minutes or so. Just pretty much out here smacking rocks, taking flint and stone back to the mortar and pestle to actually uh, go ahead and grind up so we start getting some extra levels that I was telling you guys about of how you actually go about grinding. Because in the beginning, like you're not able to do too much. You know what I mean? Like the only thing that you can really do is the basic stuff to survive. And being that you gain a level or you gain experience from everything, um, even just standing there, you gain more experience by doing different stuff. Like how I'm sitting up here uh, gathering materials and stuff of that nature. Yeah, that's that's one way of gaining XP. Uh, another way is by fighting or killing dinos. That's another way. You know, there's so many different ways that you can actually gain XP. That is... Eh, you know, it, it's endless, really. But you just want to go ahead and pump it fast so you can actually start moving on with the process so you won't be lingering around too long actually trying to uh, build yourself up. But as you see, uh, if you remember from the last episode, we got Bucky here, we got XP here, and I actually got XP here working, going ahead and giving him and Bucky these levels. Uh, I already put a couple of points into uh, Bucky's weight uh, and I put some into XP's stamina because that's what we really need with this guy right here is boosting stamina. Uh, I haven't got a trough yet put up, but uh, also I got Bucky holding a lot of my stuff. Uh, but yeah, so so far we got uh, two levels here. So we got our weight up to 200 finally. All right, so we're gonna we're gonna rock with that for a moment. All right, now the next thing that we want to work on is our movement speed. Cause like I told you, the thing about you, uh, thing about movement speed is how fast you actually move and run. We want to be able to get away from dinos when we get into a sticky situation. So with that being said, we are actually gonna be uh, utilizing movement speed, and we're gonna get that up to about. 112 that should be good enough but yeah so we got 31 points here all right so we need to unlock a couple of more things let's see what all we have available to us right now uh now we're at level 12 so now we can actually start working towards upgrading our base with uh wooden stuff which makes our base a little more durable uh, we're not going to worry about the farm right now like I told you guys that we're going to have to start doing in a little bit because you can only really grow veg vegetables in uh, large uh, crop plots. And so far right now, the only thing that we really got access to is a small crop plot. Crop plot. Ah, pronunciation is key, kid. But yeah, so but what we're going to do is we're going to unlock the parasol saddle. That's the first thing we're going to do. And... We already got a bed for right now, but we can go ahead and unlock narcotics as well. And let's go with, hmm. Uh, we can actually go ahead and learn splat glass. Uh, did I actually pass that one up? Nope, no we did not. All right, we got 14 points left. Let's go ahead and learn another storage box because eventually we're gonna need that as well. So let's look on Bucky here and see what materials that we actually lack. And wait, nope, not those materials. Ah, as well as while I've been doing this, uh, another drop came down, white drop, because uh, I remembered uh, the green is actually 15. So you go, you unlock the white one at five, green at 15, blue at 25. 
and the rest I still can't remember. But we will get it figured out, though. We will get that figured out. But yeah, I got a ramshackle bow here, so that actually keeps us from having to make a bow. As well as I got a ramshackle uh, pick. Uh, I got some other materials, too. That was the little brown bag that you seen sitting on the porch there. Uh, it wasn't really nothing but, like, just blueprints for a couple of things. But, I mean, we don't, we don't need it. Well, at least I don't need it right now. But, yeah, so, all right, uh, let's get uh, Bucky his saddle first. All right, so we need fiber, hide, and wood, and we have all of that right here. And see, this is the benefit to actually having a storage box where you can have all of the things that you need to make something, but you don't have to actually carry it on you. So, in the beginning, as soon as you can get you a storage box, get you a storage box. Whether that be you got to make one or you actually find one in a loot drop. Either way, go ahead and get that thing made up. Yeah, so let's go ahead and look and see what it will take for the storage box. Uh, we need thatch. Bam. All right, so we can go ahead and put all of that back. And we will take you out. And we're going to sit the storage box. Hold on. Let me go into uh, first person here. It's, it's sometimes you are unable to uh, sit an object when you in third person. So yeah, this is a better way to go about it. But yeah, now we actually have enough space for everything. Let's go ahead and put that middle in there. But yeah, so today, like I said, we're just gonna be really grinding out the XP's and that's one of the reasons why we learned narcotics because lo and behold, narco berries spoil meat. This is gonna make our narcotics. And being that we already got a bow, only thing we need to worry about is getting the narcotics up so we can actually make us some trank darts when it's actually time to make trank darts. Uh, you actually unlock the ability to learn trank darts at about level 21, 20 or something of that nature. So let's go ahead and get narcotics going so we can actually already have that, in which that's going to give us even more XP. All right, so we can make a 19 of that for right now. Uh, oh, nope, we, we only put the saddle in Bucky's inventory. So yeah, so let's go ahead and take all of that off Bucky because Bucky is going to have to carry us as well as whatever we get with him. Because I'm going to actually show you the benefit to actually having Bucky around. Like Parasaurs, they have more than one benefit. In the beginning, like I said, they're easy tames. That's one. Two. Yeah. Now they can come along and harvest all of the berries and stuff that you need. Berries, seeds, all of that to get you ready for later on when you actually are ready to actually start uh, start your little farm area. You know, and you can have more seeds on here. There are more seeds than uh, just vegetable seeds. You got berry seeds as well. But, you know, it's all about what you actually want to grow and stuff of that nature. Me, I only stick to growing the important stuff because you got so many dinos out here that can actually harvest berries that it it really makes little to no sense to actually uh, be growing berries in a farm unless you just, like, you're a nomad and you only got, like, maybe, like, two or three dinos. But yeah, uh, another thing that they could do, that parasols could do, is... If you're using a uh, controller, you click in this, and they do this yell. And it makes some things run away, some don't. It just all depends, but it makes them hoarse. If you look up in the top right corner, you see that little uh, circle with the countdown. Yeah, he's hoarse right now, so he can't do that little yell or roar, or whatever you want to call it again, because, well, it's not really a roar, and it's not a yell. It's more of a screeching sound, kind of, I guess. You know, parasols are weird. But anyway, so, yeah. And, but if you see, like, yeah. All you got to do is really bump these guys with weight. Because they actually, like, if you see right here. All right, you see the spoil time? It's actually an hour, 18 minutes. But we put it back on us. 
19 minutes. Yeah, they make awesome refrigerators in the beginning of the game. That's another reason why you want to make sure that you have you a good dino. Well, not a good dino, but a good pair of swords because they are multi-functional. But yeah, you see loads of nar narco berries right there. So now we just need to get some more meat spoiling. And like I said, you can actually use these guys to travel the way you ain't got to run all around no more. Yeah, we're going to have to give him some stamina too. Oh, and we got a level as well as he got one. Okay, that's great. <laughs> yeah, see, that actually unlocks. Them harvesting gets them XP as well as it gets us XP. So it works out for everybody in the end. All right, so let's uh, go with movement speed. And right now, we're not going to worry about spending our Ingram points. Because the thing about them is, eventually, you'll run out. So you just need to know. Let's see what we got right here. Mo shop. 110 female. And it wants red mushrooms? Ah. There's only one way to get rare mushrooms. Well, it's more than one way. But the way that I normally use to get rare mushrooms <laughs> is by actually uh, going to harvest crystals and stuff of that nature. I was actually hoping he wanted measure bears. Uh, not he, she. She wanted measure bears or something of that nature. But yeah, so we, but we will make a trip sometime soon. Uh, I can't promise that it'll actually be this episode, but probably within the next two episodes, we'll be actually making a trip heading on out to actually uh, get some things. And Crystal is gonna be one of them because you're not able to make a spyglass or telescope, if you will, without Crystal. So, there was a few other things that you can't make without Crystal as well, but we, you'll see, we, we need Crystal and we need metal. But we're going to have to actually get us something a lot bigger and a lot stronger than this here parasaur because, yeah, it has an attack, as you see. Hold on, if I can actually get to it. You know, actually, let me just use the good mouse arrow here. All right, yeah. Um, they melee, not that high. 194. So, yeah, it could fight. If, it was a, if he was higher level, if Bucky was higher level, we would actually be able to contend with some of the dinos that we might run across. But with this and this health, we ain't gonna be able to run across. We ain't gonna be able to contend with anything. Bucky is gonna go down five seconds in the first round. So for right now, we just gonna actually use him to actually um, be our refrigerator, pretty much. But yeah, so it done got nighttime on us, as you see. Yeah, that's another thing that happens in art. Uh, not only do you have weather, but you have time of day in which it actually gets nice time. So many beautiful stars in the sky. No pollution from the city lights. It's, it's, it's so wonderful. And then look, look as you look out onto the sea, over your cliff, you see the stars. It look like they run on forever as they reflect on the ocean water. Romantic, really. But yeah, I, <laughs> I come back when it's actually daylight out, guys. Uh, but for right now, I'm actually going to keep uh, grinding as much as I can to uh, get some more levels. So I I'll see you guys when I get back. Man. And welcome back, guys. Yep, been grinding through the night. Now, and actually, uh, night don't last long for me because I actually have it uh, in the settings to where night uh, goes by relatively quickly. Like, it's only, it only takes half the time for night to fly by. But... Throughout the night, I actually made it to uh, level 15. Let me show you real quick. Aha! Bam! Level 15. So now, we actually ran across a green drop. And actually got some of these bad boys. Yeah. So, we can actually start on upgrading the base right now. That's right. So, if we uh, actually go over to our Ingrams. Go down, you will see that we actually have the potential to actually unlock wood. All right, so we're going to unlock wooden foundation, wooden wall, wooden ceiling, wooden door frame, wooden door. Um, and actually, being that we level 15 now, 
Well, we actually got this one at 14. Uh, windows, yeah. And, eh, mm, hmm. I'd also unlock the submission page too, because I want to start making that up too. The more things that we can make in the mortar and pestle, the more time we can actually spend actually grinding out these levels here. But yeah, so uh, uh, we can also get a compost bin if we wanted to, uh, but we're not going to do that. And we only got nine points left. But yeah, hide armor, that's something to look out for. But let's go ahead and unlock gunpowder. That's what we're going to do. All right, we'll leave the rest of the points alone. Yeah, uh, we got uh, more spoiled meat being made up here. Just waiting on, ah, there it is. Bam. Let's uh, see if we can get some more narcotics going. Nope, we need to get some more uh, narco berries. All right, Bucky, come on. But yeah, so once we get the narco berries, like I said, we make up the narcotics. So that way, when we do get to uh, level 21, we can actually make the tranquilizer arrows. That would actually help us out with our next team. Because, like I said, parasaurs are good, and if we can actually run across a good parasaur, like a good high level parasaur, then yeah, we'll be okay. Um, but I actually want to get something like maybe a trike, a triceratops. That would actually be way more beneficial uh, than the parasaur, in all honesty, because one, the triceratops, it, it does hit hard, okay? It, please believe it, it hits hard. As well as it's way better at harvesting berries than uh, the parasol is. As well as it can gather, you know, different stuff too. Thatch, wood. I mean, the parasol can gather some thatch and wood, I believe. Yeah, yeah, it can gather. But the, the trike is going to be way better at it than the parasol is. So, yeah, uh, let's actually run down here to the water real quick and take another sip of water. That Mo Shop, man, I really wish it would have actually been something that actually wanted uh, Metro Berries because I already got the Metro Berries in my last slot. <sighs> ah, got this difficult here. That, that, that. See, even Bucky drinking some water because, you know, he like, we out here working hard. We work hard for the money. Well, in this case, uh, we work hard for the berries. Yeah, that, that, that's what uh, Perry works for. I'm not Perry, Lord Jesus. I'm thinking of another series. <laughs> That's what Bucky actually works for. Uh, he, he works for the, the berries. That's what he works for. Yeah, so we're going to actually float around here because I actually want to show you guys something real quick. Wait, there go another parasaur. What level are you? And then you're actually stuck in a tree. You want to show me your level? 40, male. Hmm. Hmm. Um. There's a thing called hitting the lick <laughs> or being presented with something that you wasn't expecting. This is it. I mean, don't get me wrong. Like, he ain't fantastic in when it comes to level, but when it comes to Bucky and this one, he he's going to be better. So, uh, let's, well, we actually got the slingshot on us. Um, let's run back to the base and actually uh, grab the bowlers. And then we will, we'll be right back when uh, we make it back to actually knock this guy out that's stuck. So, see you guys then. All right, and we're back, guys. Uh, saw a white drop over there, and it actually was back over that way. Uh, it's a little, I guess you would say like a, a peninsula, cold thingy. But yeah, it's some rocks over there inside those those structure of rocks. Uh, it's an explorer note box. But I will show you guys what an explorer note box is in, uh, in due time. But for right now, let's get back over here to this parasaur. Uh, it's not stuck in the tree no more. But we still gonna try to knock it out. All right, we need to get some stone. Uh, 
that's a, okay there we go i would say that is a thing about uh art you'll see some stones and you'll be like oh yeah i'm gonna smack it and then you go to smack it and it's not stone it's just something that's there yeah, so let's 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 uh get quite a bit of stone here because we are gonna have to smack this thing in the face a bit. I made up three because we was actually out of bowlers. Alright, great. Yeah, so hopefully we can actually get this guy knocked out here. That'd be excellent. Well, we should be able to get him knocked out. It shouldn't be too much of a problem. Because, I mean, it's only level 40, so... Just sit here and take these stones to the face, guy. It'll be okay. Ah. Okay, uh, I should have put this on the hot bar. I wasn't thinking. Uh... There we go. I'm not that good at uh, when it comes to aiming the bowler and they running away like that. All right, and it's out, and it's raining. Great. <laughs> so me, we don't actually have to run uh, to the ocean to get some water. We can actually stay right here. And these little uh, things, the dodos, we actually really don't have to kill them no more, but we actually low on hide. Because we actually gonna need them here in a bit to actually start making us some kibble. But yeah, when you find an explorer note, uh, if you see down in the bottom right hand corner, uh, it got those two purple arrows there. Yeah, it gives you a experience boost, gain of experience boost for for a few minutes. I want to say about four or five minutes in all honesty. Um, let's go ahead. Oh, I already got magic berries on me in my last slot. So yeah, that, that actually works out. Um, come in. Hopefully we can actually get our uh, movement speed up here. Because right now we have 107. We got five levels off of everything we've been doing. So, bam. Yeah, we done with movement speed. And now we can actually, uh, I want to say, I'm going to actually put a point in melee. Just because we got an extra point. And we can actually go ahead and start working towards our health now. We want to get our health to about 200 as well. You want to try to spread the points out evenly as you're leveling up. So figure out which ones you want to do first. Wait, wait, there it is. Okay, so. Yeah, and they torpor. It goes down kind of fast. But they food is right there along with it. So these ain't long chains at all. As you see. And the mental berries uh, actually do about 20. It feels about 20 uh, food. So, you know, make sure that you, you, you when you're starving it out, that you estimate how long it's going to take. As you see, parasols, they're relatively easy, so it don't, it don't take too much. But, yeah, so let's go ahead and let's give this guy a name here because this is actually, wait. Yeah, you you a male too. Okay, it'd have been it'd have been nice if you'd have been a female, cause then we could have actually started getting eggs off it. But it is what it is. We're gonna call we're gonna call this one um, Bucky Two. That's what we're gonna go with right there, Bucky Two. <laughs> yeah, and as you see, his stats are already better than uh the bucket that we already got uh health is already in the 500s stamina in the 600s weight in the 500s the melee damage almost 250 yeah you, you, you we're not going to be able to beat that right there uh when it comes to this guy right here and we can actually use this guy right here to actually uh ride around a bit more where is uh oh there go 
big old Bucky right there. Uh, he probably, he, he don't hear us. Bucky, we're not talking about you down here. No, you, you, you're you awesome, Bucky. Yeah, yeah, d d yeah. this one, he's your junior. He's going to learn from you. You're not going to learn from me. He ain't going to learn from me. <laughs> but, yeah, so we actually got a white drop coming down, so that actually, uh, good. Let's see what it actually has in store for us. Hopefully, it actually has some good stuff here. But, yeah, so, like I was saying, you know, eventually we're going to actually have to go out and actually start doing some stuff. And now that we actually got these two fellas here, we can probably make us a, a semi-small trip uh, and actually go check some stuff out. Because we can leave Bucky at the base and we can take Bucky too and actually go and see what we can come across. Um, nothing against you, Bucky. Okay, you're awesome. You're great. Okay, we're just going to take Bucky 2 out and get him some levels just like you did, okay? That's all we're going to do, Bucky. It, 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 it's nothing against you, okay? It sucks. But yeah, okay, so here go our white drop right here. And I see most of the time, this is what it's going to be. Very rare do you actually get, like, some blueprints or some primitive tools that's like a ramshackle. Like, you might get um, a journeyman or something like that there, but it's very rare. And I, I actually lucked up, so yeah, but we can actually go ahead and uh, toss all of that out because we don't want that. Thank you, White Drop. I appreciate it, Sky Gods, Overseer. We'll be able to kick, come kick your butt before long. We appreciate the overseer. We do, but uh, still, his butt got to be kicked so we could progress with the story. But yeah, actually, you know what? Let's do this here because that's actually something I have not mentioned. Like, I've just been hopping on Bucky and just going. Uh, one UN arc. One of the things that you want to do and make sure that you do is always have your dino to follow you. We already got uh, Bucky 2 following us. But yeah, anytime you're getting ready to head out on your dino, make sure it's following you. And if it's going to be anything worth a sniff, then you can actually put it on uh, neutral. So that way you can actually have it to protect you in a way. Like while you're riding it, like if something comes and knock you off or, you know, you just so happen to get off and you're standing next to it, then it, it'll fight back. But yeah, so uh, let me show you guys the difference in between Bucky and Bucky 2. Okay, Bucky hits for 24. Uh, Dodo, you want beef? Apparently, apparently this Dodo want beef. That Dodo want beef too. Nope, that one changed his mind. All right, but yeah, so let's uh let, let's do this. Let's take. But well, it ain't gonna let us do it. On service, it'll let you do it, where you can just take the saddle off while you're sitting on there. Okay, let's do this. There we go. All right, so now we're gonna take the saddle and we actually gonna put it on Bucky too. Where did the dodo go? There it is. Now see, watch. Bam. Now I know it. I know the number really isn't that much better, but it's better in terms of what Bucky was doing. Okay, so that's 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 gonna be key here. Oh. Uh, but yeah, I've been I've been hacking up these guys and uh, Dillos. Um, to get all of the meat and, and so I can make spoiled meat and stuff of that nature. So, like I said, these guys, we are the reason in the beginning of the game why <laughs> they go extinct. Um, because, you know, we gotta actually uh, make a grind, if you will. You know, and, and that's that's what they're they for. They, they there for easy hide, easy meat in the, in the beginning of the game. And you need to take advantage of that.
But yeah, so we're gonna get these guys back to base. And uh, we're gonna wrap up the episode actually because uh, we, you know, we didn't do much. We grind this episode uh, to actually get our levels up, in which we did. And we're about to actually gain another level. As you see, the, the arrow is fully yellow now. I'm right, gonna take Bucky two, and we're gonna sit him right here. All right, give me your saddle. Well, not it, well. It is your saddle now, Bucky two, but still, no, Bucky, no, no. Look, listen, listen. It's a hand-me-down. You're gonna get a brand new saddle, okay? You're gonna get one nice and decorated and all that stuff there. Yeah, yeah. Yours gonna be tricked out. It's gonna have racing stripes on it. Yeah, it's gonna be wonderful. Yeah, I'm gonna show you guys one more thing. I oh, forgot to have uh, Bucky Two stop following me. That parasaurs are actually good for. Let me whistle stop all. There we go. That that makes everybody stop. Stop one only stops one of them. Stop all stops everybody. But yeah, uh, hold Y. Go to alert settings. Enable turn mode. And now you see this little yellow glowing on his face. That's kind of like uh, him being able to detect any enemies that might be nearby. So that's actually, it actually works out quite well that we actually got Bucky 2 here. Because now we can leave Bucky, I guess you could say Bucky 1, um, here to actually be our alarm system. And he would notify us at any moment something comes along that he sees as dangerous. Though that's questionable about parasaurs because it's a lot of things that they consider dangerous. So, you know, just be mindful of that. But yeah, so for right now, we're going to take this saddle off. Uh, we'll take this saddle off you guy, And we're actually going to put it on Bucky 2. Because like I said, Bucky 2 is actually going to go on an adventure with us. Already got a level. Um, Let's see. Let's actually go ahead and give... Look at that, 603. Nice. Yeah, the higher they level, the better bumps and stats they get when you go to leveling them up. But yeah, so guys, I'm going to end this episode here. Like I said, we, we grind mainly in this episode. Nothing much too uh, exciting going on. But hey, next episode, we actually going to take a small adventure and actually grind our way up because the next things that we need to actually get going is we need to get a uh, refining for it so we can actually start smelting our metal and we need to get a smithy so we can actually move on up in the world and actually get us some metal tools and a crossbow yeah so see you guys next time peace out man